guys, today we're going to talk about the Paul Reed Smith Custom 24 CE. Now this guitar is a beautiful specimen to speak of, but what's really nice I want to point out is that a customer of the shop, his name is Michael, is uh, very nice and let me borrow this guitar to do a demo. And uh, just to give him a shout out, he does do YouTube videos, he's just started. What's cool is uh, his videos are very high quality, right? I mean, that's one thing he's got nailed, man. He's got the, all you guys that are into the way it should sound and way it should look thing, he's got that nailed. So check out his video. But this beautiful specimen, look at that. Oh, isn't that nice? You know what I love about guitars like this? I love that when a guitar, when it's not over the top and too flamed, and I like it when it's flamed, see across, right? That just is nice. That's a good one. I definitely dig that. Okay, so that being said, uh, let's talk about the CE. So there's a couple things I like, a couple things I don't like, and a couple things I've gotten over when dealing with the CE. So let's go into each section real quick. Features that are just like the core model are, they're using the same pickups and pickup rings. Now that pickup rings don't sound that exciting, but keep in mind, Paul Reed Smith makes his pickup rings so that the screws are recessed so they don't touch your, your side of your hand, which is nice. They are using a maple cap, like the core model, even though it's thinner. They're using the same bell house knobs, and they are using the same zero resistance potentiometer for the volume position. They are using the same frets and rosewood fretboard. They're using the same nut that is made in the same facility, and the same metal covers. Now they're using a phase two locker, which is a locking tuning key that was used on prior models and is no longer used on the core models, but it's still a very good tuning key where it differs a little bit from the core model is it has a Korean bridge like the SEs and S2s, and it does have a three-way switch instead of the blade switch the cores have. The other significant difference is that it, not only is it a bolt-on, but the maple is made of many pieces. So you have a one-piece maple here, and then it has been jointed at the headstock. You can see the seam line right there. You see it right there. See how it fades back in, and we come to the other side. You can even see where it was maybe a different color. See how this maple is slightly different than this color? And then that's the seam line again where this piece was glued to this piece. Then on here, the same thing has happened again where they glue this piece onto this piece. Again, this isn't a huge deal in the quality of it, but it is something to note that's different than core. Another difference, of course, is the back plates are not recessed into the body. They're just put on top, but it's not a big deal, but it does show what they've done to save money from the core models. Both use the exaggerated strap buttons that are infamous for the Paul Reed Smith guitars. What's right off the bat legit as core can be the fit and finish on the neck and the frets. I mean, they're, they're perfect. There's no dead spots, right? It's just every note. Right? I mean, only I love guitars, as you can tell. And um, I love Gibsons and the way that they have that sound. And I love it when PRS is, uh, people tell me Paul Reed Smith guitars don't have a sound. And I'm always like, to me, when I hear Paul Reed Smith, whether it's Santana or Tremonti or Metal Guys or whatever, it's this note. It's that note that just won't go away. There's no delay, that's just reverb. And by the way, I'm playing through my uh, Fender Super Champ. So, you know, this is a $300 amp. <laughs> I mean, how can you hate that? So that is what a PR PRS to me. You know what's funny is, I don't know if it's psychology, but I don't think people see it the way Paul sees it. Paul cut his guitars, the tops, if you look, if he cuts, you see the way he cuts it? Think of it like a violin, right? He is trying to make like this guitar like a violin. I think, you know, what's funny is people look at uh, where Paul's logic was and in the discussions where I've been with him and I've watched him talk, um, I'm always fascinated uh, as much as I like to talk, I'm really fascinated to watch people when they talk. And um, he really seems to be more uh, enamored with the violin than the guitar to me, right? And there's something about it when you hear him, and watch videos of him now. Now that I've said that, watch this. He does seem to 
mention violins more than you think he does. And I think he was, I think his focus is on that. Right? Just that infinite kind of sustained kind of quality. And what's great is you, you may not want that, but I, and I use it or take it or leave it, but it's, boy, it's nice to have it when it's there. <laughs> Okay, so um, next, here was the thing I didn't love. I didn't love the Korean bridge. It has the SE version Korean bridge on it, kind of like on the S2s half. And um, I got over it. That was the one I got over, and here's why. Um, I was thinking about offering an option where you could buy these and just get the American bridge. In fact, I'll probably do that anyway. So if anyone wants the American bridge, we'll offer that as an option. Um, and, um, but after really playing it and putting it through its paces, I didn't see where it degraded the guitar very much. I, if at all, I shouldn't see him very much. I can't find the, where it, it's less. Does that make sense? I don't hear a loss in tone. I didn't hear a loss in stability of, uh, uh, of staying in tune. Um, so it's, it's there, it's good. Okay, um, the other thing that's really cool is I love how they recessed the three-way toggle into the body. That's, that's a classy move, right? Um, I've, they never did that before in any of the core models, so that's something new, I think, uh, that I've noticed. The biggest, actually, believe it or not, the, my favorite feature of the guitar is the feature where they try to save some money, which is they made the top thinner. The tops are not as curved as, as, as the core models, and I'll show you that later too. Um, and the maple cap is thinner, but when holding the guitar, this is by far more comfortable than my core guitar. Um, I, I'll tell you where the dilemma for me was. I have this dilemma. When playing this uh, CE versus the core, here's what I decided. I prefer the core to this uh, in the way that it sounded, right? But I prefer the way this feels. <laughs> in fact, what I want is I want them to make a core with this top. That's what I want. <laughs> but I'll probably just have to have one of each, I guess, and figure out which one wins in the end. <laughs> So very cool. Uh, the other cool thing that I really impressed with the guitar is the fit and finish on the frets. They're perfect. There's no dead frets. That's why the thing sings like it does. Uh, um, only uh, critique on that, the action was high. But so you know, the action's always high on these. They come in. Um, Paul Reed Smith and those guys always claim in the videos that they come out of the box ready to play. They're absolutely true. It comes out of the box ready to play. No issues other than you're going to have higher action than most players are going to like. Um, so you lower it. The one thing that's cool though is it's probably one of the easiest guitars to set up just because the quality's there. Um, but definitely a very cool guitar. So questions that I've seen people have about these is uh, what do you think of these versus the core models and uh, you know and uh, are they are they worth the money? So this guitar is two thousand dollars street and it comes with a deluxe gig bag. Another thing, what's funny, a thing that they do that cheapens the price, uh, but I prefer. In fact, if they gave me an option with Core to take the gig bag over the case and not, and get money back, it'd be great, but even if it was no money back, just give me a gig bag over the case, I'd take that every time, because uh, I don't want the case. Uh, so, so I prefer the gig bag. Um, this guitar, what I can say about this guitar is this. If you were looking at a Core and you bought this, I don't know if you'd be missing a whole lot, right? The things that may make it really different are the fact that this is a satin feeling neck and the core is going to have a gloss neck. Um, so we'll do some sound samples next.
So there you have it, a model that bridges the S2 and the core models, which is kind of cool. And um, it, it's definitely won me over. The more I played it, the more I've interacted with these guitars, the more I've kind of really kind of grown to like them. The necks definitely grow on you fast because they are fast and easy to play for sure. And as always, thank you for your time and know your gear. Mm -hmm.